Hi today from the beautiful Esslingen in Germany. Today we will be talking about general artificial intelligence, what happens uh, to humans, what happens uh, to our jobs, what are humans needed for, if they are needed, and what is the last standing activity that humans are uh, needed for. Will your job survive artificial intelligence or not? I will answer all these questions after a short break. See you. Hi again from Esslingen in Germany. What is the ultimate consequence of artificial intelligence, general artificial intelligence? What happens if artificial intelligence can create any object that we wish for, any result that we wish for? What is the ultimate consequence? Uh, what are humans good for in such a world? This is a question that we will answer today. Let's start with the assumptions from before several years. I recorded some videos, I think, in 2015 or 2016 in Monaco when I was talking about consequences for the job world of artificial intelligence that almost every job will be taken over uh, by artificial intelligence, by machines. Um, people were calling me a dreamer, a fantast, somebody who is uh, thinking uh, things up. My claim was at that uh, time that um, entrepreneurs will be the only job or the only activity that will survive artificial intelligence that still will be needed. Uh, and uh, people were uh, arguing, you know, artists uh, and uh, lawyers and so on. These are the creative uh, jobs that will the creative activities uh, and people or humans will be needed always for these creative activities like artists, like uh, lawyers, uh, like some intellectual activities and so on. Today we know uh, artists are actually the first um, job that was um, removed or that is being removed or this being uh, cancelled by artificial intelligence and also lawyers are in danger of being removed by artificial intelligence. So what, uh, at the end, we job stay with artificial intelligence. At the end, I think if you can have any answer or you, have, you can have any result uh, from artificial intelligence, uh, you can receive any uh, objective or you can reach any objective uh, with the help of artificial intelligence or let's say the AI can reach any objective for you, give you an answer, create you any object or realize any of your wishes. At the end, what is left? I think at the end uh, what is left is to know what you want, right? To know what you want, to give the direction to, uh, to actually uh, articulate uh, the visions, articulate uh, the goal, the direction. This is uh, what is left and this is somehow entrepreneurial. But uh, I just recently read a very interesting book, uh, which is, let's say, 10 year old book by Kevin Kelly, one of the best futurists in the world, it is called The Inevitable, about 12 forces shaping the future. And uh, one of the ideas was what is the only activity that is left for humans? What are humans good for? What, what are they for in the world filled with artificial intelligence? And uh, I give you now the, uh, the thoughts, uh, some thoughts uh, from that book. Uh, in the world of artificial intelligence, we can get any answers uh, we want. This is a world 
with an abundance of answers. And uh, when you have an abundance of something, of course, uh, this is object in this case, the answers, they become very cheap. But the questions uh, become valuable, right? Because we get the answers uh, from the um, uh, from the artificial intelligence, but we don't get the questions. So, uh, in such a world, we get a quest for a perfect question, and we can see that already in um, in the developments of the last months. Uh, the let's say number one activity or a very good paid activity around artificial intelligence about the usage of artificial intelligence is actually prompt engineering, right? What prompt should I ask uh, AI to give me specific answers or maybe specific result, a given result? What are the best uh, prompts, the best questions, right? The best commands that you can use. And here we come to a famous statement by Pablo Picasso who said computers are useless, they give only answers, right? And this is the right attitude. At the end, uh, what really counts in such a world is the ability to ask a good question. Good questions. This is uh, something that is left for humans. What is a good question? And I give you some ideas from this book, The Inevitable by uh, Kevin Kelly, uh, some characteristics of good questions. But before I, I do that, I'll give you an example of a good question. So good questions are worth million answers. Uh, as an example of a good question um, is the question Albert Einstein asked himself, what would you see if you traveled uh, with the uh, speed of light? How the world would uh, see from such a perspective? And this uh, question uh, led him to theory of relativity, to the famous uh, equation E equals mc square. Uh, it uh, led also to a new paradigm uh, in uh, the understanding of the world, in new paradigm in physics, and of course the atomic age. And now I'll give you some characteristics uh, for good questions from the book by Kevin Kelly, The Inevitable. A good question is not concerned with a correct answer. So it's not about uh, the answer uh, that you get. This is not the first priority to get the right answer. This is uh, uh, the quest uh, for, let's say, a new perspective, for changing the paradigm of uh, viewing the world or a piece of reality. A good question cannot be answered immediately. A good question challenges uh, existing answers. A good question is one you badly want answered once you hear it, but you didn't care about before it was asked. A good question creates a new territory of thinking. A good question reframes its own answers. A good question is a seat of innovation in tech, in science, in art, in politics, uh, in business. A good question is a probe. Uh, what if scenario? You ask what happens if this, or let's say what if the reality is different, right? What if you travel with the light of speed? What if uh, we live in a simulation, right? What if there is much more mass in the universe that we assume there is? there is a mass that we can't detect or something, right? What if there is uh, another particle uh, in, the, in the world that somehow we haven't uh, detected yet? Kind of that uh, questions. A good question skirts on the edge of what is known and not known. Neither silly nor obvious. 
a good question cannot be predicted, right? So before somebody asks this question, nobody has thought about uh, that stuff, so you couldn't predict it. It's a kind of a maybe a black uh, swan. A good question will be the sign of an educated mind, right? So the educated minds in the future, the educated people, the scholars, they will specialize in asking good questions, not in giving answers, because answers we'll get from artificial intelligence. A good question is one that generates many other good questions, right? So it's not about, uh, as I said before, it's not about getting the right answer. It's more about challenging uh, the answers that we have uh, had in the past and generating new uh, questions, new uh, spheres of thoughts, um, new areas of uh, knowledge or maybe new perspective to the world. A good question may be the last job a machine will learn to do. And a good question is what humans are for. So this is the last, uh, so to say, last standing uh, for the man, for the mankind to uh, ask the right question, right? Uh, to get uh, the direction for the AI to follow. So now uh, I wonder about the good questions that you uh, have thought of. Maybe list in the comments below the good questions uh, that you ask or that you would like to ask um, that would pre provoke these uh, new answers or even more questions. Uh, let's uh, write them down in the comments below. If you like this video, give me a thumb up. If not, of course, thumb down. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, share this video with your loved ones, with your friends. I talk here a lot about doing great, impossible things. Um, in life and in business, I talk here about uh, the best entrepreneurs in our times, about uh, the self-made billionaires, how they think and act. Uh, I talk about economy, about the world, how the world works, about money, sometimes about cryptocurrencies. So if you like this video, you will certainly like my other videos. I invite you to watch them. That's it for today. I wish you a fantastic day here from Esslingen, Germany. Let's do something extraordinary today.